Welcome to Esla Equation Corner. So today we have this word problem to resolve. We have that the product of three consecutive positive integers is 210. What is the highest of these integers? So for us to begin, let's name these integers. Let's name the integers. Let's name the first one n, the second one will be n plus 1, and the third one will be n plus 2. Now we are told that the product of three consecutive positive integers, we use, so the product means we multiply the three integers. We use consecutive because after one we have two, after two we have three. So after n, we have n plus 1, and after n plus 1, we have n plus 2. So we are told the product of three consecutive positive integers. So we'll be multiplying these three integers. So their product will have n, n plus 1, n plus 2. To be equal to 210. So let's open up the bracket. We have n n squared plus n times this or equal to 210. So when we open up this bracket, we have n to the power of 3 plus 2n squared plus n squared plus 2n or equal to 210. We have n to the power of 3 plus 2 plus 1. We have 3n squared plus 2n or equal to 210. So let's move this number to the left hand side. We have n squared n cubed plus 3n squared plus 2n minus 210 or equal to 0. So we've got a cubic equation to resolve. Then we have n to the power of 3. We can split this 3n squared to be minus 5n squared plus 8n squared. And for 2n, we can have minus 14n plus 42n. And from here, we have minus 210 or equal to 0. So from these two, we can factor out n squared. We have n squared. So we have n left here and minus 5 here. And from here, we can factor out 8n. We have plus 8n. We have n minus 5. From here, we we'll factor out 42. We have plus 42. And we have n minus 5 or equal to 0. So looking at the brackets, they are unique. So we'll pick one of them. We have n squared plus 8n plus 42 times n minus 5. Or equal to zero. It simply means that n minus five is equal to zero, and n squared plus eight n plus forty two is equal to zero. So let's resolve this first. This simply means that n is equal to five. Resolving this quadratic equation, let's check, let's determine the discriminant. We have d to be equal to the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So d is equal to 
our b is 8 we have 8 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 42 so d is equal to the square root of 64 minus 168 so d is equal to the square root of minus 104 since the discriminant is square root of a negative number it means we'll be having a complex number from here we are told that so from here we are told that the product of three consecutive positive integers simply means that we need an integer not a complex number so let's take n to be equal to 5 so if n is equal to 5 n plus 1 is equal to 6 and n plus 2 is equal to 7 so the largest number is 7 what is the highest of these integers the highest equals 7 Thank you for watching Esther Equation Corner. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our solutions.